Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and welcome to World 6, finally. Uh, this is yet another desert world, however, at least this level, which is the only level that I currently know about, because I game over quickly, even though I had many, many a life, uh, this level is full of quicksand, and by full, I mean, like, everything is quicksand. Oh, wait a minute, I, w I don't apparently want to go down there. Thank you, Cobra, for correcting me on that. But really, I do want to go there because there's a chemical bot that I can grab that will bring me to subspace and give me a heart. Or a mushroom, which will give me a hexagon, which is not like a heart. <clears throat> now, I think that this would be a bomb that you can then... How did he fall off? Oh, well, it's not a bomb, it's a chemical bot. So go ahead, pick it up, drop it down on this rib cage right here. And then grab the mushroom, which will actually fall down the quicksand. So be careful. And then jump past the pokies. Um, I thought there was going to be another one. Ah, uh, well, let's just pick up one of his four heads. He has plenty. He can spare one. Wow, nice dodging, Toad. And then you fall quickly down the quicksand. That was almost really bad. Okay, I want to pick up one of these guys. And barely hit him. That's good. Okay, so there's that. Then I, I want to take this pumpkin. You want to have this pumpkin. Also, the pokies, they can just ignore, like, all boundaries as they walk through that cactus. And that's why I want that pumpkin, that stupid panzer guy right there. Now then, is one of these a chemical pot, maybe? Could I actually pick that up? Nope, they're all little... Are those carrots or what? Oh, well. So, yeah. This is the room... Oh my god, that was a snake, or a cobra, rather, but this room, this room full of pipes, is where I would always give up playing this game, because when I was younger, I did not have the patience to look through every single pipe in order to find the key which we need to get in order to open the door and progress through the level. So I basically looked up where the key is. Let's hope that I can remember and not die, of course. Not dying would be helpful. Hmm, I wonder, could I possibly get that life again? Okay, this time, does that snake automatically hurt you? Because if so, that is unfair. Because I really don't have a chance to dodge that. Okay, well, let's just head down here and see if the life is back. Because if so... Aw, oh, darn it. Oh, well. So let's just head on back up, with disappointment drawn on our faces. They just took disappointment colored sharpie and doodled all over me. So, oh crap, I shouldn't have killed him. I think it's this one? No, there's uh, sand blocks on the bottom. It's this one. No. Crap, I forget. Oh my god. It's this one. Indeed, okay. I knew it was to the right of that cobra. The problem is that I killed that cobra, so I had no idea. Uh, you'll know it's the right one when you see all these sand blocks that you can pull up. And because uh, that mask guy is there. So I want to be careful because of all these shy guys. Um, they kind of get in the way a lot. And let's go ahead and wait for the wall of shy guys to pass. And grab our key. Up, oh, grab our key. And watch out for him. And let's drop the key here. Wait a second. Okay, pick it up. Luckily, the key door isn't very far from here. However, you are going to want to get rid of the... Wow, okay, this is weird. I couldn't move for a second. Toad was just stuck in the crouching position forever there. And I believe that this is the boss. The music kind of signifies that. And here we have a green birdo, which is odd. Oh, great. Didn't mean to do that, but I'm pretty sure that this one spits only fireballs. And of course I miss again. Okay, well, oh, I should have ducked instead of trying to jump. Although jumping would have worked if Toad actually jumped there. But that's besides the point. I have two more lives to go through the rest of this world. I want to just, yeah, just drop it on Birdo from her face. And if I could actually pick this up, that would be great. Pick it up again, pick it up again, Toad. Oh, oh, just barely snipping her eyes. Okay, good. And then we can go, and I didn't get any coins, which is unfortunate because I only have two lives left. 
And now I'm moving to the princess. This is the princess's last hurrah. And yeah, why does does every single second level start in this little cave area? I think so, only it's differently colored. So yeah. This level is very short and it involves these birds and I already screwed it up. Okay, this should be better. Basically, there are all these birds flying to the right or the left and you want to dodge them. Oh, no, you want to use them as your platform and just ride them across. Can you pick up the bird? I am not letting go of the B button in that case or whatever button is used to pick stuff up. I believe there's a potion to get a mushroom right there but then you'd have to ride a bird all the way back and then go through this again. Now then, the princess is very good for this level because of her hover, so you can quickly correct your jump just in case you failed it. That wasn't that bad. And now we're already on the boss, or rather Birdo again. And she's green again. Who's your makeup artist, Birdo? You're constantly getting your skin different colors. Okay, careful. Oh my god. Princess had invincibility frames, apparently, as she picked up. Oh lord. Okay, well, apparently that's now acting as a wall. If I could effectively effectively use it, that would be great. Okay, pick it up. Oh no, crap. Should have ran a little bit before I did that. Oh, god, I'm getting so scared right now. Okay, darn it. Honestly, if I could just beat this world, that would be great. And if I get a game over, I will be sad. However, because Birdo is on this platform right here, I- aw oh man, my drop missed. I don't believe that she can hit you while you're on the ground floor. The actual ground. Oh, she can move through the mushroom blocks, that's bad. Okay, so wait for her. Pick it up, drop it, yes! Oh, what? No! You can't do that, Birdo. Well, apparently she did, so... Who am I to say stuff? Whatever. Okay. Let's throw it at her. Okay, I have two health. I shouldn't I shouldn't screw this up. There we go. Green Birdo, you're down again. Awesome. Now we only have to get through the last world in one ho in one life. It shouldn't be that bad. I mean, come on now. And I'm going to play as Toad yet again. Uh, because... I want the Mario Brothers, the actual Mario Brothers, to be in the last two levels. So, yeah. Um, I feel like I should mention this. I actually discovered this on my own, on accident. And if you just head through here, keep tapping the jump button, you can head all the way left and you'll get to a door that is that will bring you to the very end of the level. And you know I probably should do that, but um, I have to actually show off the level. And yeah. So here's hoping for the best. I have one life. And I'm, again, we are in like quicksand everything. Jump toad. If you hit Pokey's bottom part, then he won't uh, constantly multiply heads. Bomb. And this is a giant door and it looks like it has sad eyes or something. But anyways, giant door. We have bottoms coming out of nowhere. So let's just hurry up, be careful. Oh, lord. Be careful while hurrying up, of course. The best idea ever. And now we have a bit of a bomb wall maze. Oh, Ninji, you can jump. Okay, be careful. Scroll him off screen so he can't reappear. I don't know where the mushrooms are anymore. I'm clueless. Let's try around here. Of course, it's all the way down there. And that's fun. Okay, but this isn't as bad of a puzzle of a bomb maze. I mean, you could just go straight through it. See, I got through it like that, so yeah. And next up, we have a climbing section. So I hope you aren't annoyed by that climbing sound, because you're going to be hearing it quite a bit. Look at all this. It looks like these vines are, like, withered or something. And, great, I brought the ladybug with me. But this kind of reminds me of... World 1, that one climbing section in there, just because of all the clouds and stuff, and don't fall. Okay, um, don't fall, Toad. 
Come on, you're supposed to be the strongest. You aren't supposed to be letting go of the rope. You have to keep keep on climbing until you reach the bell at the top and ring it. Has anybody ever had to do that in gym, actually, where they had to climb a rope that was, like, attached to the ceiling? Because you see it in cartoons, like, all the time, but I'm now in high school gym, and I have yet to see anything like it. Speaking of high school gym, I have gym again this semester, but that's the last time I have to take gym ever, so yay. The nerd will get his day! It shall be fun. Oh my god, completely off topic, but, I mean, climbing is so much fun anyways, so, yeah. But, completely off topic, but in gym, we had swimming for like five weeks, even though first semester had it for like two, but that's besides the point. Uh, I, and you couldn't miss a day, otherwise they threatened us that we would fail gym if we met, missed a day, so we would have to make it up if we had a doctor's appointment or something. However, I couldn't make up the day because uh, my parents couldn't pick me up afterwards because they were both working. So I was all like, hey, could I do something else instead? Because this kind of doesn't work for me at all. So she just said, my gym teacher said, oh, just write a one-page essay about swimming. And I was like, okay, anything specific? And then she was just like, no, just a one-page essay about swimming. And so I wrote about a swimming race uh, between... Chuck Norris, King Kong, Batman, um, Indiana Jones, and Darth Vader, and it, w it was, oh, I just died. Well, let me just quickly finish this story. It was one page full, typed, double-spaced, all the good stuff, and I turned it into her. Chuck Norris won. I'm incredibly sure that she did not read it at all because I passed, so yeah. Anyways, I will meet you back at the Birdo Room for the third time. So I will see you then. Hello everybody, this is Mateo back in this room where Birdo is residing. And it's actually a red Birdo, so not as much to worry about, I guess. But it looks like, does she have a bow or something? All right, you drop the thing and when you um, do a super jump. But I didn't even have to do a super jump there. And I'm getting my butt kicked, even though I had three health. Um, the At the very beginning of the level, the mushroom is actually on the second really short cactus. That's only like one tile high, or however you'd say that. Oh man, that missed. And Toad get up there. Toad actually can't get up here without the help of that hawk right there. Come on now. But yeah, I grabbed that mushroom and then... Uh, quickly just took that shortcut that I pointed out. Oh man, that egg, the egg, I can't get that block anymore. Well then, looks like we're fighting Birdo the normal way, which I didn't want to do. I wanted to get at least one hit off with the mushroom block, but oh well. Okay, let's wait over here for an egg, dodge her attacks, throw it. Okay, good. You want to try to conserve your health as well just because we have the other boss coming up. Now, how am I gonna, okay. Take, th no, I still can't take the block. Okay, let's just go ahead and go. And now we have our actual boss, and this shouldn't be that bad because it's an old, an old guy that we've seen before. Try Clyde. Now, I really do suggest building the wall this time just because it, the, where you are is pretty close to where he is and he can uh, really get you easily. So, as long as you built it three high, he shouldn't be able to hit you. So, yeah, this boss is not nearly as bad as any of the other ones that we've fought. And he only takes three hits. He doesn't get an upgraded health like Mauser did. So that's that. That wasn't all that bad. Um, I'm probably going to purposely get a game over because I kind of have zero lives now. Uh, so I can at least have some lives going through the final world where Luigi and then Mario will... Uh, take on the end, I guess. So I will see you all next time for the finale. So goodbye. That was quick. That was only like two and a half minutes. Awesome. Okay, well, see ya.